What's up guys, my name is Abdul Nafe and welcome back to a brand new video. Uh, now I just wanted to make this quick little video just to show you guys how you can do professional studio lighting inside of Unreal Engine. So this scene is what we're going to be making. Uh, now this scene is actually from a course of mine, you guys can check it out, the link is going to be in the description. Um, but yeah, so essentially uh, what we have in the scene is that we have like a garage, um, we made this all inside the course and we added a model of the McLaren. Uh, the texturing of the McLaren and, and, and everything reading the whole scene is covered in the course, so if you want um, a detailed version of this tutorial then you can check that out. But in this we're just going to be covering the lighting part of it, right? So let's go ahead and um, basically remove all the lighting and we can just start uh, basically creating this scene uh, from scratch, right? The lighting from scratch. So I'm just going to select all the lights and I'm just going to delete them. All right. So in this scene, we already do have like some uh, light cubes on the, uh, on what do you call it? The ceiling. And in the, these types of scenes in studios, if you go to Pinterest and if you just look for inspiration, most of the, uh, most of the studios or the garages that you're going to see are going to have some, some sort of lights on the top, some sort of light panels on the top. So we're just going to be re uh, replicating that inside of Unreal Engine. So we can just go ahead and create a uh, click add and then we can go to lights and rec light and you can go ahead and rotate it oops like that like that make sure it's facing the right way and it is rotated instead of 90 i think we should have done 80. yeah um, and let me actually go to unlit mode just so that we can see better because in lit mode, um, since my cursor is already black, uh, it's hard to see. So what I'm going to do is that I'm actually going to be placing, uh, I'm basically going to be changing the width and the height to match these light panels. Uh, now you obviously are going to have to add some like some sort of light panels or like anything you want. Um, or you can just do it without any light panels if you are not going to be showing the ceiling. But yeah, something like that should be Good, just a rough outline. Uh, the size should just roughly match the panels, right? Have one of them there. Duplicate this, have another one right here. Select both of them and duplicate them. You can duplicate by holding Alt on your keyboard and just moving them, right? Have them right there, perfect. So now we can go back to lit mode and see how this looks so far. So, so far we have like very dim lighting, so I'm gonna select all of them. And you can go ahead and increase the lighting intensity. So something like, I don't know, 16. Uh, 16 is very less. Um, something like, I don't know, maybe 100 might be good. That seems to be good. How about we have something like 150? I think that's better, right? But right now, the lighting is pretty sharp, right? And all these lights are basically giving you sort of like a good fill uh, lighting. Um, but right now, we're going to be adding more lights uh, to sort of fill in the shadows and fill in the gaps at the bottom, right? Um, now, one important thing which I want you guys to consider whenever you're adding lighting or whenever you're working on any sort of project, uh, on the lighting of any sort of project, is every single light that you add, it must be serving like a proper um, purpose, right? Every single one of your lights should have a purpose. Because a lot of times what people do is they add a, a ton of lights and they complicate the scene a lot, which sort of slows down the render times and it sort of just makes the scene more inefficient uh, while um, the lights are not actually adding anything to the scene, right? So that's not what I want you to do. I want you to keep disabling and enabling these lights to make sure that all of them have a purpose and all of them are making a difference in the scene, right? So I'm just going to be going ahead and adding another one of these lights. Instead of adding them, we can just duplicate one of these. So just select one of these and hold Alt on your keyboard and bring them down like that. Now this light, I want it to fill uh, the, the, what do you call it? Um, I think the left side. Yeah, the left side of the car. So I'm just going to be placing it something like that. The scene is pretty dark, so you might be having a little bit of problem seeing my cursor, but I hope that's not too big of a problem. Um, so I'm just going to be changing the size of this, something like that. And that should be good. But you know what the problem is? The problem is generally, uh, if you if you have lights, um, which are sort of filling in your shadows, make sure to not have them directly facing your source. Make sure, uh, like, you, in order to, like, make your scene look a little more interesting, you can have them at the back, something like that or something. Just, just so they can add like a little more, um, what do you call it? Uh, it? It can highlight some parts of the car a little more and it can create a little more depth, a little more contrast in your scene, which is just going to make it look that much better, right? Uh, the key here again is just to play around with the lights and just to make sure that you're not adding lights just to fill in the gaps, but you're actually like being creative with it. Um, so I'm actually going to be duplicating the light once again and placing this one right here. 
it's that it can actually i'm gonna be placing this right in front of the in front of the car so we can sort of fill in some of the shadows like that i think that should be good perfect i think we're looking pretty decent so now the problem uh, with our lighting is that this part looks a little dark uh the front part the wheel part uh so we're going to be fixing that and also another thing which i'm going to be talking about in just a sec but let me add this light first so just add a light there but then again what you want to do is you want to move it to the side and you want to place it in some way that it it is not directly if i place it like this you're going to see that it's just going to fill in too much of the shadows and it's not going to be creating that much depth you know but if i rotate it a little bit and if i sort of like move it back something like that or maybe place it somewhere there i think now it looks much better right so i think now our scene is looking pretty good however this part might be a little too bright so i want to select this light and go ahead and reduce the intensity to something like 100 i think that looks much better now the problem is uh not the problem uh, one thing which we can do to basically make this render look a little better is add some lights in the background so they can sort of act as rim lights um, and they can also uh, add some reflections to the ground as well right so i'm just going to be selecting any of these it doesn't really matter and just duplicate them place them in the background like that and place like that rotate it a little bit and move it up and move it in the front so something like that just to just something which can sort of act as rim light that would be good um something like that might be a good position you can again um the main thing uh which i'm which i sort of want you guys to understand is that all this in, is um completely trial and error you're not going to get it right in the first try it is definitely going to take you a bunch of tries i think placing the light here is better because then it adds a little bit of reflection reflections on the ground which i think looks pretty good and we can have another one at the back as well because the back is pretty dark at the moment so just duplicate that Place the light somewhere there. Maybe a little bit like that. And yeah, I think it looks pretty good. I think the lighting of this scene is looking pretty decent so far. Um, if you were to actually like make an animation of this, you have to make sure that it looks good from all the angles. Um, I'm not too sure about how it looks from the back because it's too bright. So if you want to make an animation of this, make sure to add, make sure to change the position of the lights such that it looks good from pretty much all angles, right? You are going to have to make some trade-offs. Uh, you are going to have to make some sacrifices. But um, yeah, uh, it's fine. Eventually, you'll get it, hopefully. Um, I'm just trying to make uh, the front part a little brighter. Um, I think it should be fine. So I think the lighting looks pretty good so far. Um, also, by the way, just one quick tip for you guys. Um, if your reflections in your car or anything, or any of your objects, don't, they don't look that good, Make sure to go to settings right here, go to engine scalability settings and make sure to set it to cinematic. If you do that, your reflection are going to look much better. So for comparison, in Epic, you're going to see that your reflections are going to look, they, I mean, they still look good because we have ray tracing turned on. Um, but if you set it to cinematic, you're going to see that some of the shadows, some of the reflections are just going to look that much better. Okay, it's just, um, I think something which uh, you should turn on in all of your projects. And also be sure to turn on ray tracing as well if you can. All right, so that's the basics of our lighting for you guys. If you guys um, enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to give it a like and be sure to subscribe to my channel as well. Um, also, you guys can check out the full course in which we're going to be learning how to make a whole animation of this um, uh, th this scene inside of Unreal Engine from scratch. So be sure to check that course out. The link is going to be in the description. All right, thanks a lot for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.